Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. We've got a real heavy weight today. Federal Premium Terminal Ascent 200 grain and 300 Win Mag. And here's your box for that Federal Premium 300 Win Mag 200 grain heavyweight terminal ascent load elk icon. This is the heaviest terminal ascent load I've shot thus far in, on the channel. Here is all of your promo info. There's quite a bit. Here, I'll hold the box here so you can stop, pause, and read that if you would like. Zero to 1,250 yards. 1,250 yards. I don't know about y'all. I'm not going to be taking that shot. To each their own, though, whatever you want to do. Coming on down. We've got some more promo info. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. Right here, we've got our intended game. So big game, medium to large, deer, bear, elk, and more. That's what it is meant for. Coming on over, we've got our ballistics chart. Muzzle velocity is stated at 2,810 feet per second. We'll see how close we get to that. Let's go ahead and pull this stuff out. Take a look. Nickel plated brass cases, really nice looking. It's got, there's a lot of glare going on right now. Looks like it's got that blue primer sealant that most federal ammo has. I think all federal ammo has it actually. I haven't ever seen any that doesn't. And there it is, really nice clean looking stuff. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger M77 Hawkeye Hunter, chambered in 300 Winchester Magnum, of course. It's got a 24 inch barrel and we are taking advantage of that threaded muzzle. And up top, we've got a Leopold VX3 HD scope. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. And we've got 300 wins stamped right in to let everybody know the hammer is about to fall. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings. Check out my website for these as well. If you're looking for a leather sling that will last you a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my Black Bear design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that heavyweight 200 grain terminal ascent out of the 300 win mag, minimum 2796, max 2821 for an average of 2812. And we are down at the blocks after shooting what I'm going to go ahead and dub the king of terminal ascents, these 200 grain 300 win mag federal terminal ascent bullets. We captured all three all the way down in the third block. So there's one, it's kind of shadowy right there. It's hard to see, but it's right there. We're gonna give that 32 inches of penetration. This one, 33 inches. And this one right here, 34 and a half. So we have some deep penetrating bullets here. And it looks like, it's a little tough to tell, it looks like they expanded rather nicely as well. Right there, you can kind of make that one out. The front is just folded back perfectly. Looks like a nice mushroom. And they all look like that. Of course, we'll dig them out here in a second. And coming on back to the first block, let me do that again, let me do that again. Coming way on back to the first block, because these things went almost three feet deep, we have our wind tracks. Delayed expansion to about the one and a half to two inch mark, it starts to really open up. And then we have just nice solid wound tracks that go deep, not particularly wide, but they don't die off until about 13 inches. So they're gonna do some damage up front while penetrating just extremely deep. And here we'll take a little bit closer look at the wound tracks. There's one, two, and then the third one is down deep underneath of them. Nice looking spiral wound tracks. Definitely not the most explosive. The most explosive 300 wind mag wound track I've seen is actually right here. This load is coming up. Oh my gosh, look at that. We'll talk about this in another video. Stay tuned to see what did all that. But these terminal ascents did what they're supposed to do. Let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look. All right, y'all, we shot it. Let's talk about it. That heavyweight 200 grain federal premium terminal ascent out of the 300 Win Mag. 
weight retention, let's jump into it. 192 grains, 197 grains, 199 grains. For an average of 196 grains retained weight, that's 98% weight retention. And that is what I have seen from terminal ascent bullets across calibers right there in that 97, 98, 99% weight retention range. Absolutely phenomenal. Expansion wise, 0 0.64, 0 0.67, and 0 0.69 inches for an average of 0.67 inches expanded diameter. That's 2.2x expansion. And that is what the terminal ascent does, again, across calibers. It expands to that 2 to 2.2, maybe 2.3x mark. So it gets plenty big. It's not going to get massive like your Federal Fusions or something like that. But that's because this stuff is meant for bigger game and for deep penetration, which is what we got. And we'll talk about it in just a second. Velocity wise, we saw 28.22 for the high, 27.97 for the low for an average of 28.13 versus the factory build velocity of 2,810 feet per second. So we came in three feet per second faster on average than the factory build velocity. It can be done. Federal has done it with this particular box of ammo. And our estimated velocity at impact down there at 100 yards is 2,630 feet per second. Penetration wise, this is always where terminal ascent absolutely shines. And this is what it is meant for. It's meant for your bigger game, your Western game elk, bear, moose, stuff like that. 32 inches, 33 inches, and 34 and a half inches of penetration for an average of about 33 inches. That is really good. Terminal Ascent in this 300 Win Mag version in particular gives a great balance of weight retention, expansion, and penetration for great performance on big game. Kinetic energy wise, with a 200 grain bullet going on average 2,813 feet per second, we're looking at 3,513 foot-pounds at the muzzle and 3,072 foot-pounds down there at 100 yards. And that is on the upper end of what I'm seeing for 300 Win Mag hunting ammo. And that is a direct effect of the velocity actually meeting its spec. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts. If you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on this Federal Premium Terminal Ascent Heavyweight 200 grain load out of the 300 Win Mag. I can't say enough good things about this. It did everything well. It did what it's supposed to, what it's marketed as doing. Great weight retention, great expansion without being too much to hinder penetration. 33 inches of penetration. This stuff is going to perform on that bigger medium game, on the you know, really big game that it's marketed as being for. I mean, we've got an elk on the box. On the back, it says deer, bear, elk, and more. I assume more means things like moose, musk ox, caribou, stuff like that. If I were going after bigger game with my 300 Win Mag, especially North American bigger game, this Federal Premium Terminal Ascent 200 grain load would be at the top of my list. If you've used this load on game, let me and everyone else know how it did for you in the comments. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.